Hi, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be removing this front panel by cutting it off. I'm going to start by marking out with a marker pen all my cut areas, making sure that I don't cut through anything that I shouldn't do. So let's get started. is and uh, the rust issues on this bus are a lot worse than I thought they were going to be. You can see down this A post is okay although at the top there's a there's a few repairs that have been quite done quite badly but at the bottom here it is very rusty um, and this bottom inner panel as well is far worse than I thought it was going to be so that's going to have to be replaced. Uh, the bottom of the, of the near side A post is very rotten. And going up to the top, you can see that that top um, windscreen inner panel as well has been repaired several times really badly. So I think I'm going to have to replace that as well. So I think what I'm going to do now is finish cutting off the front panel. Okay, before I do any more cutting, I want to remove a few 
few more bits and pieces. I want to take these um, heater vent flaps off and remove the wiring and this drain pipe. Okay, now we've got everything uh, removed from the interior, uh, all the wiring. I know removing all the wiring is a bit drastic, but the wiring on these things is pretty straightforward. There's not a lot to them, and it's a good opportunity to go through it all and replace any cracked or dried up uh, wiring uh, with new stuff and replace all the um, connections, etc., and make sure everything's working correctly and is in good order before we put it all back together again. Um, I've just got to remove the handbrake now. Um, so oh, to do that I've got to go underneath. taking everything off I can crack on with um, removing the remainder of the front panel which is still on here and, and what's on here is actually the original from the original bus that the previous people who put the new front on didn't bother removing so I'm going to remove that because these tabs and this lip actually comes with the new front panel um, I know I didn't have to take the handbrake off the lever off. I, 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 I know I cut it and I'll just have to drill it out and put a new spindle in um, but I, I just can't handle 
having one item left in there. Um, so I'm much happier with it out, but I know I didn't have to, but there you go. which should be here tomorrow or the day after. So I'm going to cut it there and there. Um, and then I can remove this from this upper lip. ready for the, the new front panel. repair sorted um, it's now time to have a crack at doing the bottom lip which is slightly worse condition so I'm gonna to have to cut quite a bit more out of that um, and I've also there are some raised ribs in there that I'm gonna to have to replicate in the replacement panel as you can see I've um, cut out this piece of sheet metal as a repair panel section to go in so I'm just going to mark out where these ribs go so I can fabricate them into this sheet Right, what I've come up with is a wooden former with a slot cut in it, 
two bits of wood to clamp the sheet down and a metal bar with a rounded edge and I'm going to hit it with a hammer, see what happens. Right, well I think that's been a success. Now all I've got to do is do the other six. Well, I think that's turned out really well. Let's uh, try it and see whether it fits and then get it welded in. Clamps. I made them some time back for another job. They're really, really useful, dead simple to make. Um, and they're great for clamping in jobs like this, butting up metal, sheet metal to weld. And it gives you just the right gap as well. So now we're ready to weld. So I'm just going to put a few spots, tacks all the way around, just to get it started. Now the welding's complete, all I need to do now is clean up the weld. I'm not going to go to town on cleaning it up too much because it's not going to be seen. And as long as it's strong, um, that's the most important thing because all of this is hidden underneath the grill. And this, this lip here will weld onto, onto the um, front panel to, so that rainwater can drain out of here. Really important that. I mean that's why these rust is because the rainwater collects in them and uh, they don't drain out properly.
it for this episode so thanks for watching please feel free to comment or subscribe and I'll see you next time